Today's lesson, the planning would be what is the novel, elements of the novel, and major types of the novel. So part number one, what is the novel? Uh, the novel is a prose narrative, a prose narrative coming or related to fiction and it has been introduced to British literature, to English literature by the 17th century to the 18th, you can say the 18th century genre as a new literary genre the novel has been introduced to English literature after, if you remember, after a long uh, part or period or phase within uh, poetry, from the epic to the limerick, as we saw in Simaston number one. Then we have the drama plays uh, with the famous uh, William Shakespeare, mostly uh, or namely, Merchants of Venice, as we studied before we've been separated. Then, after this long tradition, well, we have uh, Middle Old English, the wife, Old English, Beowulf, if you remember. Then we have uh, Middle English within Geoffrey Chaucer, the wife of Bath. Okay, maybe some can have this novel, the wife of Bath for Geoffrey Chaucer. Then we have a drama within William Shakespeare. It's the end of the Middle uh, English, the Middle Ages, to the starting of the preparation for a modern English. Within, uh, but after uh, after William Shakespeare, we have the rise of the novel. So, the novel is a, a fictitious prose narrative, okay, uh, typically representing uh, characters and action. And the lesson, the lesson will be provided within the site. So we have the rise of the novel. Then we have what is a novel with all the elements related to the novel. What is it? Then you have elements of the novel. What is it composed of? Then you will find in the post, you will find also major types of the novel, which are. So what is a novel? The word novel in, in vocabulary, if you want to explain it, it means a new novel, novel, new, jadid. And it, is, it was continued because it was, as I said, for the first time, a new tradition introduced to British literature. It is, in short, the novel is a story, but which has some characteristics of, or elements to call it a novel. People used to tell stories orally and so on, but the technicality or the techniques to call it a novel were lacking, so it was a new tradition in literature uh, to mean a story about actions, characters, people interacting between each other and there is an author, a writer, a novelist writing a story for a reader which, and this reader can be personal, individual or public, okay? This is about what is a novel. Uh, the novel also for the first time it's a literary genre, a tradition written in prose as opposed to verse or poetry. No more poems, no more verses, no more plays and actions in theater. It is rather uh, a public audience. People and readership and literacy, literacy started to raise in, in, in Europe, in the whole world, in London in particular. So we have uh, the appearance of the level of literacy started to raise. The, the printing machines started to develop and they produce manuscripts or novels, books for readership. Then we have elements of, this is part one, what is a novel? A prose narrative composed of characters uh, interacting within each other about a topic, about a personal experience in life in a particular time and in a particular place. Then part two of this lesson is Elements of the novel. The elements of the novel are some sets five, some sets six, others said more, but for the time being, as basics for first year, I prefer to tell or precise only some. You have the setting, the characters, the theme, the plot, the narrator, the language. 
So the setting is time and place. All the stories start on 19 or on 18. There was a village in. So we have a location situated, which is called place. And we have a date, a time. So time and place make uh, uh, the elements of setting in the novel. Then we have the characters, people, group of people, sharing actions together about a personal uh, experience. Then we have the plot. The plot is the arrangement of events in the story. Okay, the arrangement of events in the story. Then we have the language. It can be written style, can be written in dialect or standard. Then we have the point of view or the narrator. Is the writer speaking about first pronoun, third pronoun, uh, omniscient? Uh, the narrator can be uh, individual, can be uh, I was. It means the writer uses the word I. I, that there is a hero using the word I. Or pronoun he. Well, this this element of of uh, novel forget about it about the time being. Focus on the setting, who, where, and why. Uh, sorry, the setting, where, and when. The characters, who are the people in the novel. The plot, the way events are arranged. For example, there is a love story. The writer said this couple uh, were uh, married. A woman and a man were married. And after he goes back to the story of their meeting. Sometimes, no, there is the meeting of two a men and a woman, and there is a suspense. Shall they meet forever or not? Shall they marry or not? So it depends. This is the plot, okay? So we have an introduction, an introduction. Then we have a climax, the knot, l'oqda. Then we have the denouement preparing for the conclusion. This is the plot, okay? Then we have the theme. Sure, any novel should be about a, a, a particular uh, topic or theme. Then we have, as I said, the language, style, uh, standard. Um, now we end the lecture by part number three, which is about the major types of the novels. There are many types of the novel, um, um, epistolary from epistolary to historical, allegorical, gothic, um, historical, realistic, um, social realism, psychological uh, novels of manners, uh, picaresque, uh, and so on. But I just spotted some of them for you for this year, for this level. After you will know uh, others like psychological novel within the stream of consciousness and so on, which is within part of modern literature. So the main important uh, uh, novels that I uh, selected for uh, this year, for this level, are the epistolary, the picaresque, the sentimental, the gothic, the autobiographical, allegorical, the historical, and the realistic. There are, I think, all in all, eight novels. They are enough for the time being. You have the epistolary novel. The epistolary novel comes from the word epistle, which is a Latin origin uh, called epistola. Epistola, which means a letter. So the epistolary novel is a letter, uh, a novel full of letters. That is the meaning of epistolary novel. As an example, we have Pamela by Samuel Richardson, a novel that we should see into details for the time, for the next time. The second type is the picaresque novel. The picaresque novel comes from the Spanish word called picaro or rogue. Rogue means vagabond, dishonest, the uh, unconventional, uh, dirty, uh, sweet. Uh, so the, the novel focuses on such type or category of people. And uh, as an example, you can find Kipling's Kim uh, novel. Kipling, famous writer, Kim, is an example of the picaresque novel or the famous Henry Fielding, uh, The Adventures of Tom Jones. The Adventures of Tom Jones are a little bit uh, a good example of the picaresque novel. Then we have the third example is the sentimental novel. Sentimental novel is clear. It's the way of thought and the way of emotion, of feeling a character uh, does feel. And the word sentimentality, sensibility, is taken great depth and length in the novel. And as an example, again, 
uh, Richardson's uh, Pamela is both a pistolary novel and sentimental, focusing on the sentimentality as a concept in thought and, and feeling. Then you have the Gothic novel, uh, Gothic novel, a kind of novels that I personally don't like to read, unless compulsory, and not even Gothic movies and anything Gothic I don't like, I don't prefer, but my taste isn't important, it's a matter of taste, my view isn't important to like or hate, it's rather to know it for your knowledge, I know that there are many fans of the Gothic novel, maybe Dr. Berber is a good reader of the Gothic novel, and a fan of the Gothic novel, anything Gothic, I think Miss uh, Mingushi Marie, I think, okay? So the Gothic novel is uh, um, focusing on terror, horror, um, haunted buildings, haunted people, um, death, decay, uh, really uh, terrifying, scary type of novels focusing on this, uh, on this, uh, locations haunted and so on and uh, you are uh, all of you may be uh, acquainted with Dracula is a good example of the gothic novel the vampire and you have uh, Frankenstein Frankenstein by Murray Shelley uh, it's a novel about a monster okay and by Frankenstein I remember my dear colleague Dr. Moro Wasila she is a fun and a good reader and a good teacher of Frankenstein, which I dislike. Of course, I dislike Frankenstein and not Wasila, I adore. <laughs> um, then you have the autobiographical novel. Autobiography means someone writing about his own life. So there is the life of the author or the writer in the novel. As an example, you can find David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. David Copperfield by Charles Dickens is a, a good example of novel as autobiographical and great expectations also can be considered as uh, autobiographical novel you have the allegorical novel in order to know what does it mean the allegorical novel you should know the meaning of allegory an allegory is um, a word containing two meanings we have a surface meaning a surface meaning and a deep meaning or a hidden meaning so it is something uh, apparent meaning, what is an allegory, is an apparent meaning beneath a hidden meaning. What is hidden? It means a, a, a novel that may seem or look for children, like Daniel Defoe's uh, Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe looks at uh, children literature, parts of children literature, but in fact it's uh, political, religious, historical, economical. Uh, you have the, the explanation of the capitalism in the novel, colonialism, uh, slave-master relationship. So it's not that, uh, that easy, that su superficial as it looks as a children uh, literature, but rather uh, 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 an allegorical novel. So that is an example. Also, you can have Bunyan, John Bunyan, so you should, you should see, we should see Bunyan, shall I, next video, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in brief. John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress can be a good uh, novel as, uh, as a type of allegorical. So you have Bunyan and Defoe, the first uh, uh, novelist uh, preparing for the rise of the novel, uh, were allegorical novels um, of the type. Uh, you have the historical novel. Of course, historical means a novel. Uh, the writer narrates stories in the past. So stories that have been reported before the writing uh, has been made. So it's about the past. And historical novels, you can find Charles Dickens' uh, uh, Tale of Two Cities is a good example of the, the, of the, the historical novel. Uh, add to it, uh, Thackeray's Vanity Fair can be a good example of the historical novel. I end uh, my um, list by the, the, the realistic novel. The realistic novel is a novel about events which is fictitious. It, there is fiction, but a fiction directed, targeted towards the reality. A personal example, experience of a character, uh, of a social class, especially if it's uh, in England, about uh, how to build up make up uh, the social structure of a society and as a good example you can have 13 reasons why by asha
can be a good example of the realistic novel. All in all, the planning or the, the video, the film, the story, the lesson was about what is a novel, elements of the novel and types of the novel. Uh, hope I'll, I'll download the, the lecture as promised in the site and this video is just a backup to what is written in uh, details within uh, the within the paper uh, hope that this could be useful um, for you for 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 understanding or preparing the semester number two uh, next video inshallah will be about the rise of the novel what is the rise of the novel and we should see stories characters the plot in details within John Bunyan, John Bunyan and Pilgrim's Progress. Then we briefly, um, Daniel Defoe, uh, Robinson Crusoe. Then we should see Pamela, uh, a girl, very fun, cute girl, within Samuel Richardson. Then we should pass to Henry Fielding, Joseph Andrews. Then conclude by Lawrence uh, Stern and Tobias Smollett, excellent, excellent writers having made the flourishing, the flowering of the novel in English literature. Uh, still, I can see you, inshallah, very soon. Fi amanillahi wa